And welcome back everyone to Tanari Glacier and of course to Avon Colony, where in the last episode we finished off just by uh, beginning the construction of this here retail center. That should hopefully make people a little bit happier because we've got a bit of an issue with, with happiness over here right now. Um, we've also got a bit of an issue with just general things really. Let's have a look. Um, 16 and 16 inhabitants. We don't really know what their issues are I like there. The colony, but it's kind of hard to get around in here. Have you thought about building more tunnels? Yeah, you live probably so far away because of these jobs. There's much more than 16 jobs here. You know what? We're going to start this one out then. We'll wait just a few moments and we'll get a habitat going here that should support, well, quite a lot of colonists. It'll, it'll support more than enough colonists for everything we want to do. I'll let time pass until we can build the best. There we go, the best habitat. Right about there. There we go, that is going to be a big help. Uh, we will then build out behind it and then down. Um, because if we do that, we can actually get a VR center and a park here as well, which should massively improve the overall happiness in this area. Let's get that park down right now. And there we go. Right, what's the issue right now? Warning, low food. Uh, I would say we're doing alright. We, hmm. I mean, it's, it seems pretty okay to me, at the very least. I'll have to have a look into that. Maybe a hospital would be a better one, actually. It provides health care, increasing colonists, health and morale. Um, you know what? Given the amount of enhancers that we're allowing our colonists to consume, perhaps that isn't a bad idea. Perhaps that is not a bad idea, actually having some more health kids started around the place. So sure, okay, we'll plop that down there. And while we're talking about that, uh, I may may also build another bar. <laughs> you know, to help make sure people need the, the health care that I just so graciously built them. Mm, something wrong with that logic, I can tell that right now. Uh, okay, we're going to also want some extra storage, we'll get that going too. And hopefully that'll help us out, but yeah, our food situation, okay, maybe not the best place it could possibly be. I would like this, that can be in lounge mode, I would say. Then we'll have a bar just down there. Make sure that's a bar. Right, let's actually have a look now. How are people feeling? Man, even Prime was cooler than I expected. There we I'm go. Really that, glad I'm not still stuck that in orbit. Actually, what I wanted to hear. That is exactly what I wanted to hear. But I'm a little bit concerned about the uh, possible issues we will face over there. So let's build this out. In fact, I'm generating quite a lot of nanites. How much calco sludge and iron do I have? Uh, wow, we've got more than both of them are really. Okay, well, in that case, I feel that uh, we can definitely afford to do this. Let's get some more people working on that. Uh, how is... With this much going on? You know what? I think we're going to want another... And we're actually going to... Uh, I was going to say we want another vent, but I'm just going to go for a filter. This is going to be super, super clean air. However, let's double check, because this population is going up fairly high. Um, no, crime, crime isn't super bad. I mean, it's not super good either. You know what? I think... Have we got enough power here? Let's start providing power, please. Loads of power. Let's try and help out a little bit. This is actually something that we're going to have to deal with in this episode, I think. We are we are hitting a bit of an issue with our, our power generation, I would say. Let's... You know what? No, we don't need to put it over there. We can just go ahead and build this here instead. There we go. That should give us plenty. Now, what I would like to do here is build out a bit of redundancy for our tunnel network. There we go. Speed that up. And then once we're done with all the developments over here, we're going to move over and try to hook up to the Zorium deposit. Because I think that uh, going for the Zorium mine is probably the best use of our time. But before we do, one last thing I would like to do. I would definitely like some wheat. Um, about there, I would say. Yeah, in fact, are we, how are we doing with our habitats? Our habitats are basically full, which I'm not too happy about. Crowding is becoming a bit of an issue. Let's 
crown. Yeah, let's let's build another habitat then, so that people have some extra room to move around, should they need it. In, f in fact, we could easily afford to build a skyscraper here, right about there. Sure, go for it. Hopefully, we'll move around the various fields that need to be elsewhere. There we go. That should give us plenty of space for people to. As you recall, move over the Constitution there. guarantees your citizens the Indeed right to does. vote on their colony governor. Indeed, it looks it like that time does. is upon us again. Right, well, well, while all that's going on, we're going to start building out towards the Zorium deposit and hopefully hooking up with our next means of energy expansion. I believe there is at least one more geotherm somewhere. Fairly certain I saw one at some point. Right there, right down there. It's actually by an iron mine, but since we don't need iron right now, as we've seen, I'm not going to prioritize that one too much. Let's upgrade that. Right now, so we've got some redundancy in the connections there, which is good. Now, that actually brings me uh, to a topic about the solar cells. Um, in fact, are we in spring? Yes, we are. So let's swap all of these to absorbing power. But. As much as this system works quite nicely for us in terms of um, giving us the largest potential efficiency with our bonus while still having direct access to the battery through tunnels, that is seven out of the eight connections, it does necessitate some extra roads which themselves draw power. Now, what I mean by that is that when this system is built up. We've got some creeper. I'm sure we'll be able to deal with that. When uh, we have that system specifically built up, everything can be reached. No matter how densely we pack it, since there's only two spaces, the tunnel up here and the tunnel down there allow connection to anything that we, that we pack in here. But when we try to make it three, if we try to pack things side by side, the issue becomes... There we go. Let's just go and make sure that that is going to be... A f oh, that is not... <laughs> right here. Let's get that going then. But uh, when we pack these in side by side, then these two solar panels, or these two solar panels, or however you want to do it, will not have direct access to a road. Even the best thing we could do would be to have them sort of packed in kind of like this. Um, sorry. Not like this, but uh, that one facing all of them facing the same way. So I'd need a road in between each module. No matter what I do, I'm having to build three extra roads and a fourth, in fact, just to connect to the battery. All just for keeping two extra solar panels, and I don't think it's worth it. It necessitates me building a very specific area for the for the solar generation. Whereas with these, I'm making use of areas that I've already got. I'm not even building the roads out to the solar panels with those ones. Those roads would already have been there anyway, which is very, very useful for me. Right, well, while you're doing all of that work, uh, needs... Oh, right. The drone it cannot do its work because it's uh, currently infected. There we go. Well, let's continue on our build-out because we need to get all the way out here. Um, we'll have another level two one, I would say. Uh, we'll build this one down there, though. And then another apartment. Should be good. Ah, oh, little flying creatures. How lovely. Can we hunt them? I know that sounded bad, but if we can hunt them, then uh, this planet becomes even more sustainable. Just because they breathe this atmosphere doesn't mean they're going to be toxic for us, so it probably does indicate that we're going to have to prepare them quite carefully. Right, um, I'm not going to worry about placing down solar panels just yet. We are going to continue building out to the uh, Zorium deposit first. There we go. Now, how do I need to connect up? Well, that's the way I need to do it. Okay. And then once we reach up here, I would say that we're probably going to want to start building a habitat. In fact, building this area up just... Ooh. Uh oh, are you something important to me? I wonder. You might actually be the object we've got to require, uh, recover. Hi, boss. I've compiled okay. some feedback to help guide you in the I upcoming the referendum on the colony ship. This colony doesn't have enough tunnels. We need more enhancers to keep us happy. In 96 happiness, I think we can, we can just, you know, move on. We don't need to worry about that. There we go. 
Right, let's get this out there. Can I build through this, or would that break something? I can't imagine it would break something. Um, I'm really hesitant to pick this up. Oh, I can build through it. Very well. I will try. But I'm super hesitant to deal with that. Just because... If I do it out of order, will the game break? Basically, is my concern. There we go. Right, I would like two mines. But starting with you. There we are. And then you as well. We are going to want to build up the Zorium reactor probably out here. Um, and I believe they're 3x3 three three structure. So, if we build out this road there. And that gives us enough room to build a nice big old habitat there. And then... We'll draw that out by two. We'll run it down. I know that based on what we're doing over here, we're going to need um, a security drone. But we'll wait on that one for a little bit. There we go. There's now, a referendum election coming up 97%. soon. 97%. I have some I'm happy with this. From your but there we go. Let's get this built. Ah, glorious, glorious power about to be all of ours. Um... You know what? We can probably just get away with building this whole area out into the same sort of pattern. That would be fine. Uh, we will want, definitely want the park. We are absolutely going to need some fairly hefty um, air cleaning. I'll wait for probably an air filter I'm going to place in there, I think. Highest air, air filter. There we go. We then want, I'm going to say, sure, we'll get a, a bar or something. Um, no, actually, we'll go with a lounge, I think. Just to entertain people. We're going to want a retail center down by here. And another hub, I would say. Let's go I've ahead consulted with, with the that. inhabitants of the colony. 78% of the Y. Unhappy colonists. What is the problem right now? Average health is very low. Let's have a look at what people are complaining about. Crowding. Substances. Many different types of enhanced substance and alcoholic beverages are available. Some of these increase happiness, but they're having a bit of a drop right now. That is actually terrifyingly bad news. Terrifyingly bad news. Now let's check on this one. Mind mold exports. Okay. Uh, we do not need to be making any more mind mold then. Turn it off. We want the sake. We want a vodka. Please get these made. Also, beer. Make that as well. Um, in fact, let's go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm really weary, but go ahead and investigate place. Right. We've got a lot of stuff that I need to look at. More rice, because that'll lead to more enhancers. We've lost a tunnel somewhere. It's fine. It's not a terrible one. What do you want? You want food? No, you don't. You want enhancers. Ah, bloody druggies. How did it come to this? Certainly not my fault. Let's build a larger storage facility there. Okay, well... I mean, you know, that's not amazing. But we'll, we'll get on to this. Let's upgrade that as well. Get rid of you. All of my batteries just shut down. And I've consulted with Commissioner Veronica, and I'd like to make a few mm, recommendations. Time to collect the object. Very well. Hello, Chief. And Hello. now you need bliss. That's not happening anytime soon. But we are going to pick this up. However, I believe you wanted star glow, so I'm okay with, in, with exporting that for the time being. Right. Let's have a look. Following was added to your colony's inventory as a reward Comple uh, for completing the collection mission. 32 nanites, 81 soda. Very well. Now then. We've got a new mission. mission Research center to analyze the unidentified object. Now, we've already done that on a past mission. Sure, we'll have a look. A unity out of it. I think that's one that'll actually remove everyone's negative... Uh, morale effects, so it's probably quite useful for us in this particular situation, honestly. Um, I'm just going to draw this out. And then we're going to get something down here. Now, we can't place it there, unfortunately, but we can 
happily build out. Well, I mean, I'd say happily. I'm not sure happily is quite the right term, but we'll go with it for now. There we go. Get that whole area built up with a redundant connection. There we go. Entire oatmeal is done. Now I actually kind of need a mill. I've not built a mill yet. Okay, some things are breaking somewhere, all over the place, in fact. This is kind of lagging my game. Oh, my lord. Uh, let's get that in there, though. Now, hopefully, that will help people out a little bit. Mine molds. Well, we're not going to be using that just yet. I think we might even need some more chemical plants in order to get the star glow. Because I'm making so much more stuff. Yeah, some more chemical plants are probably necessary. So let's build out enough space for them. Ooh, can I build there? No, I cannot. Aha, all right. Well, that is useful that I noticed the uh, slight bump in the terrain there. Otherwise, that would have been a kind of annoying to try and work around. We can, however, recycle this and put it in a chemical plant right there, I would say. All right, insufficient power. Yeah, that's going to happen. We're only just insufficient, though. Do we have enough power to give? We do. Provide power, then, from these batteries. I'm going to have to set up some of my uh, old-style areas just to make sure that I've got loads of batteries to use, I think. Increase that. And then I want oatmeal and wheat. Uh, sorry, flour, rather. That will do. There we go. Uh, our happiness is, is teetering. Teetering. It's not good, honestly. We're, we're actually struggling a little bit with happiness. Crowding seems to be a fairly high um, issue. But also health. So perhaps we should uh, drop down some more hospitals around areas on the outskirts. Also, policy-wise. What are my policies like? Can I improve health? Free addiction treatment. Yes, I think we're going to need that one. Let's get that going. Uh, building destroyed by lightning. Let's go and have a look at you. Not terribly bad, I suppose. We're doing amazingly for nanites. Congratulations right, on your referendum oh, victory, boss. That was closer than I think it has been in this entire mission. Figured out how to manufacture bliss from star glow and quarry beans. Okay. Still analyzing the object. It's going to be a while before we can export bliss. It's, it's, that's not going to happen any time, even remotely soon. You want more living space? Well, I suppose I can facilitate that. But first, I want to place down some more health care. That one right there should help out. And because of our policy that uh, people will get free addiction treatment, this should actually be a, quite a large impact on our population's happiness as well. And I think we'll have a final one just over here as well. There we go. And in that tiny little spot there, really. Ah, Scallywax! We clearly need more drones. Let's pop that one there. Please get these fixed quickly, like super fast. Thank you. Uh, I keep forgetting. Oh, there we are. That's a bit better. I am pleased. All right, food is low. We are, we are growing very quickly right now. A little bit too quickly, to be perfectly honest. We need to address this. Right, we want something that is a nice food crop. Broccoli will do okay. We'll go with two greenhouses down here. Uh, barley. I mean, these are not the best places for anything like that. Let's uh, try and get you there. Then we're going to build up. Uh, probably to about here and then cut across. There we go. Then I want some tier 3 farms. Do we have rice? We do. Any particularly good places for rice? Uh, yeah, 8.4 is quite nice down there, but I'll put it up here because I want to fill that area with solar. How about quinoa? 
No, broccoli. Okay, well, we'll go with some more broccoli then. I'll place it around here. We'll see how that builds up for us. There we go. And are we storing power? No, we are providing it. I would like to absorb it. Thank you very much. Let's get that going. There we are. Oh, it is getting very laggity now. I think you can just idle for now, but we are actually right on the edge of our power demand, which is terrifying. But I've got loads of nanites, so we should be able to quickly fix this problem. Get one more. That one's just going to be... Well, you know what? That one isn't actually just going to be. That one's just going to move. And then we're going to rebuild it here instead. Uh, in fact, we can rebuild it there. It's fine. Let's get that out of the way. Hush! I can't! I can't give you more living space! I refuse! There's too many of you already! You're a massive drain on my resources! Nope! Not getting it! I refuse! It would lead to death. Massive, huge piles of death would be all that I would have. Um, yeah, this, this food is dangerously low. We have grown way, way too fast. Okay. Um, some more broccoli. Well, we're coming up to around winter time, so I'm going to say that we can't afford to, uh... Oh, what did I just do? No. Oh, poop. That is one of the issues with the, the lag in the game at the moment. It is so difficult to place things. Or just even use the interface without accidentally placing stuff. We'll have you there. Go ahead. And then we'll build another one just over there if we can. Let's grab you. And we'll have you right about there. There we go. Alright, we want to continue with our power generation because ultimately that's the thing that's going to mess us up horribly if we don't get on top of it. Alright, we've got two new... Objectives. Our scientists have finished researching the anodon red object. They have determined that it is a unity artifact which can temporarily provide a significant morale boost. We have a new request for you. Mission work. Now go to the social policies and activate the artifact. Um, I hope you're keeping the happiness of your colleagues Hooray! in mind as you grow <laughs> Simply your Simply as the. Remember. I'm sorry, astonishing. We're all in this together. Ah, my lord. Your next and final goal is 1,000 citizens. I was overcome by how astonished I was and, and basically tried to swallow my tongue. Uh, right, there we are. Some beer. Metropolis. That is glorious. Minerals exhausted. Uh, that's a bit of a shame, but not a huge issue for us, ultimately. Let's go ahead and recycle that, then. And uh, while that's happening, let's continue building these. We want to fill this out as much as we can with power generation. Because it's about to get really bad. Like, super amazingly bad. Chop, chop. Oh, thank you. More again. The winter is going to be so low. You guys, everything just shut off. Yep. Okay, well, I want providing power, please. All of you providing power. You don't provide a lot, but, you know, you do provide some, and that's good enough. Provide, 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 provide. You too, provide power. You as well, even though you were only just built. And while you're all doing that, I will continue to build more of these all over the place to try and help out. There we go. I mean, these don't require workers, so I can just saturate the colony in them if I need to. It's not really something I want to do. Because the more buildings I place, the more laggy the game becomes. And it's a bit of a shame that the... Oh, I built that in the wrong place. You need to move. Uh, it's a bit of a shame that I'm I'm considering that as part of the reason why I do or don't build something. But, yeah, it is what it is. Go. Let's get that one up there. You can go down there. 
I mean, we I think our batteries are running out. Low food variety. Yeah, we've not got food. <laughs> which is the terrifying thing. Yeah, that has really snuck up on us. Come on, let's get this down. Um, entire production halted. Loads of things have halted. Warning, low food. Indeed. There's still people arriving, which is kind of frightening. All I can hope is that the little bit of food that we bring in is enough to sustain us until we can start increasing our, our population again. Building destroyed by lightning. Oh, that was annoying. Of all the places you have to destroy something, you have to do it there. You use Scalaway. We're going to have to go on a massive increase of food. That's going to be our focus, probably for the next little while. Um, you know what? Sure, let's let's go and activate this, and maybe it'll make everyone happy, even though they're all starving to death. Uh, let's see, social policies, John auto repair, martial law. Um, where is that? I'll go to the social policies panel and activate the artifacts. Very well. Social policies. Activate the artifact. I guess I'm going to have to switch on rationing for now. Um, power monitoring for silver time, martial law, prohibition. There we are. Unity artifact. Donk. Now, hopefully. Yeah, everyone's like, oh, this is great. This colony's amazing. I don't know why we weren't happy. You know, the fact that everyone was dying. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just one of those days, really, I guess. But now everything's great again. Ah, oh, so happy. Jack, what's the status of the R&D effort? Making progress translating the cube? I've had to put the cube analysis on hold for the time being. Oh? Right now, I'm directing the scanners to analyze the object the governor recovered from Hylas Crescent. Any conclusions? Yes, in fact. The object seems to be incredibly powerful and represents Yay. the peak of the scientific achievement of the species that used to live on this planet. Okay. We're still trying to figure out exactly what it does. But it seems like once we learn how to activate it, it will unleash effects on a quantum scale that actually alter the consciousness of our colonists. Uh, that sounds dangerous. It does. I don't think so, actually. No? From what I'm seeing, it actually generates a state of contentment. So, it's like Buddhist enlightenment at the touch of a button. <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. that's a good way of putting it. Uh-oh. Seriously? Uh -oh. Alien uh -oh. mind control? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, uh-oh. Sure. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. The only way to know uh. sure is to try it. And how oh. many aliens possibly know about human physiology? No! Uh. Uh. I'm more concerned about side effects. This what is, is unfortunate. I hope not. One of you is more than enough. Um, oh, I am the jacket now, huh? I'm not the one who thinks uh, my butt for the entire colony. Back off, this, boys. Jack, this is unfortunate. On the research effort? That's the uh, 48 hours until we can fully reverse engineer the I, Roger that. I, I don't want this. <laughs> <laughs> I win! Ah. <laughs> uh, I win even though my colony is descending into death and nightmare and lunacy. There's bodies littering the streets. The have modules are just turning into macabre shrines to the afterlife. Ah, uh, I win. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe we made it. Oh, I don't really consider that a win. I consider that a loss. But <laughs> I find that so amusing. Uh, technically, we won. Victory! We don't need this colony now that we have learnt this new artifact. We're just going to flee. We're going to leave this place and all of its death. It'll be some some ancient relic that, uh, that another race long into the future will discover. No wonder what on earth went wrong. Well, what went wrong is they had me in charge. And basically, we just grew. That, that, that's ultimately it. I just lost sight of the fact that we were growing so quickly. I mean, it should have been a little bit more obvious to me since I was getting notifications like, Oh yeah, you've just gotten to a metropolis and you've gotten to this and soon you're going to be a megalopolis and, and all sorts of things. Yeah, but I hadn't expanded our food 
um, in so long. That was so dumb. I was so focused on energy that I completely neglected. I completely neglected the uh, the energy for my colonists, basically. But they died happy. They all died really, really in. You know, they were just lying there, just, just, just slowly, slowly ending. This is the problem with Unity devices. Uh, they learned it in Firefly. Yep. Yeah, people just, they became so content, they just lied down and went to sleep. And never woke up. They were so content, they didn't even feel the need to feed themselves. That's that's probably what happened. What, it clearly wasn't me not having any food. No, no, it, it was them. Them not doing any work. Because they were so content, they just, just lied down in amongst all of the plants that, that, you know, they could have harvested or just eaten. Because, like, some of them were, you know, quite quite edible raw. And I'm like, nah, I'm just going to lie here. It's so, so nice. So nice on this on this greenhouse. Uh, but there we are. We have completed this colony. Oh, my thought. So many people are dying. Death, 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 death. So much death. Recovering 550, addicted 313, unhealthy 622. Oh, yes, yes. They're unfortunate, really, but uh, there's not going to be anyone to run this colony. Out of curiosity, I, I do want to see how far. Oh, can I not move? Oh, game, why? I wanted to see how low it would get. If it was recoverable. Like, you'd have to go around very specifically, create like deactivate buildings in order to ensure that the the ones you need at the very beginning were active but you could do it i imagine as long as some people survive because you would start getting more more immigrants over time but uh, yeah so i'm not i'm not going to say that i'm not familiar with this kind of scenario from dwarf fortress where most of the colony just dies and you're left with one person but then an immigrant wave occurs and you're back up to a sustainable population but yeah, this, this, uh, not my finest hour. But that's going to be it for this episode, and perhaps for the series. Now, there are the sandbox maps, but this is the last of the campaign maps. Now, I'm not really uh, entirely sure whether there would be that much for us to do on a sandbox map, because the campaign seems to have given us all of the toys right from the get-go. And each colony has just been refining our use of those toys. One thing we could do in a sandbox map is simply aim to have the largest sustainable population that we could get to, but I think that we've probably seen what would be involved in that to lesser or greater deg degree. Certainly, I failed here, like quite drastically failed here. But uh, I don't suspect that now that I'm aware of really what I should be paying attention to, that we would hit that kind of problem again. But then very, very large populations kind of pose their own challenges. So let me know in the comments if you would like to see me uh, go on to one of the sandbox maps and just see what they're like. Or if you you would like to see me return to this in the future when it's had a couple of content updates, you know, just leave me a like on the video. But until next time, take care, everyone. And try not to forget that your colonists need food as well as light. Generally. I mean, not always, but usually. <laughs>